Hey, what's up, everyone? It's your one only athletic card gamer here, Ali Talking Guys, with another awesome Call of Duty Ghost video. And today, I'm actually bringing you guys a Loki with the Bison, which is part of my series where I drop a Loki with every single gun. Um, now, pretty much in this gameplay, I go like 30 and 4, um, and uh, I pretty much play really smart with it. Since it's, a, since it's a submachine gun, I sort of have to fix up my play style and really flank a lot and sort of get up into the grill. Um, cause that's really the only way you can play with, especially with the Bison, since that, that recoil is really strong. Um, I sort of have to play a little different, a lot less, um, aggressive like I usually do, um, with an AR from long range. Um, so pretty much here I have to get really up close, flank, and, uh, I do, I do some work, obviously. I go 30 and 4 overall, and I'm able to drop this Loki for you guys. Um, now the Bison itself, like I said, it does have a, a very bad recoil, I find. Um, it, which is one thing that sort of, um, affects its, uh, its gun, obviously, because... Um, compared to some of the other guns in its class, this one um, sort of lacks just because of the Bison. Me personally, um, when I started, when I first got this game, I never really liked the Bison. I used to use it for like two seconds and then just like change guns right away because it's just a gun that I don't really like. And uh, I've been able to actually fix it up a little bit. I know lots of my friends, uh, actually, no, Zach the Fruits actually told me um, that this was like the best gun, or well, not the best gun, but like uh, was a really good gun. And I started to use it a little. And, um, you know, after a couple games of uh, sort of adjusting my, my play style, um, I was able to actually get this gameplay, actually. So, I uh, hope you guys do enjoy this gameplay, obviously, because, um, you know, it's, it's a pretty good one, actually. Because this is, my, like I said, my fourth um, submachine gun one, I, Loki, I got. Uh, so, I hope you guys do enjoy that. Um, now, in this game, I find that uh, the submachine guns are not as good uh, as they used to be back in the old games. Um, I know the ARs, no doubt about it. Everybody knows this. The ARs obviously dominate this game. Um, there's no doubt about it. No, the MTAR maybe sticks up to it because I see lots of competitive players use it. And it seems to be a very popular gun in regards to when it, when it comes out to slaying and shit. Um, so no doubt about it, it's a really good gun. But no doubt about it, also, the ARs are dominating this game. Uh, me personally, I actually went to an, I sort of rotated more to an AR player. Uh, where back in Black Ops 2, my MSMC, my MP7, my Scorpion was my, my top guns, right? I was a submachine gun player back in Mario for 3. It was my MP7. There was the PP90 M1. Um, but of course, obviously the ACR was there just because the ACR is beast, and I really hope they can bring that back. To be honest with you guys, uh, I would love to see that in like a DLC or something. Bring back the ACR. Uh, I know that's for sure one thing I'd spend my money on because that gun was absolutely amazing, and they, every game was fun with it because you could just dominate. It was like a laser beam across the map. You put that red dot on, you could pick anybody up across the map, and it was absolutely a slaying gun. And I love it so much. Um, I, I, I literally want, really want it back. Hopefully, they can like. Make a DLC for it. I don't see why you wouldn't bring back a legendary gun like that, but uh, we'll see how things go. Obviously, uh, the four names of the map pack was released and all that, um, which is super exciting. I'm still not sure if I'm gonna be buying it. Uh, we'll see how things go within the next couple months and with my friends get them and all that. But I'm really excited, obviously, to see what's good's gonna come back first map pack. Um, so yeah. Um, now after, like I said, back in Black Ops One, I was once again more of a submachine gun player. My AK-74U was my best gun, pretty much, but of course, the FAMAS, once again, um, sort of sneaked in there because one of those beast guns. Um, so overall, like I said, I sort of rotated more to a sub, uh, to an AR player, which is obviously something you got to do, obviously, uh, especially in this game with its big maps. Um, you know, there's, I don't see how you can really use a sub much, uh, unless like Octane, No Strike Zone, and uh, uh, let's just say Warhawk or something. But even at Warhawks, there's like lots of long uh, alleyways and shit, which to get you kills with a sub, so... Um, no doubt about it, obviously ARR is dominating this game, and they're really, really good in this game. I find um, uh, not the best out of, uh, out of all the Call of Duty games, but no doubt about it, they have a couple of them that are actually really, really good. And uh, the SC2010 with uh, Red Dot and Suppressor seems to be really my top gun right now. And I've dropped like so many big kill streaks. Like, uh, really, one thing I really want them to do is bring like a Strike Zone 24 7. Like, I literally would drop so many. 50 plus gameplays every game like I've been dropping 70s 60s like almost every time I'm on that map pretty much uh, No doubt about it 50 plus every single time because um, it's just a map that if you play smart if you go um, Head to head and win your gunfights you're gonna get your kill streaks and I remember um, Actually yesterday I actually like even like with those kids like being all annoying and stuff and throwing like random grenades and um, The jet actually coming in there with a shotgun. I was able to somehow control still the map and uh, dropped myself like a 70 bomb, or I was like 69 or something, so I pretty much dominated that map too. Um, but pretty much, I really like Strike Zone, I really think they should make a 24-7. Um, just because of its, it's, it's, it's like, it's, it's a great map, you know, it's like a Nuketown almost. It's like that legendary map that everybody likes, no doubt about it, like, it's, it's no doubt about it, it's the best map in this game. 
Um, obviously, that's what I think anyways. I, I don't see how it isn't. And I'm really hoping, obviously, like I said in one of my videos, that the DLC actually brings small maps. I don't get why it wouldn't bring small maps. Um, since they brought all these big, uh, disgusting maps like Stonehaven, um, that, you know, it's not even playable for drop kill streaks pretty much. Unless you camp all game or if you, uh, have a 30 minute video or something. Um, so yeah, so, like I said, that's, that's actually pretty much the end of the video. Um, like I said, some machine guns in this game are pretty good, but not better than the ARs. But obviously, I'll keep on playing with them. Um, so if you guys did enjoy the video, hit that like and fair button. Subscribe for more awesome content. And as always, your one only method of card gamer. Wishing you guys an amazing day.